Decades ago, heavy river pollution caused the people of Bangladesh to seek drinking water elsewhere. The United Nations sprang into action, funding tube wells like this one to carry groundwater from deep within the earth. This water was clear, colorless, and odorless. It felt safe, but was it? In 1993, chemists discovered that a hidden killer was concentrated in the water, arsenic, a poisonous element. Concentrations of over 50 micrograms per liter were found, well in the excess of the World Health Organization's suggested limit of 10 micrograms per liter. So how did the arsenic appear in the groundwater? There are several different theories. Chemists believe it started with the birth of our planet. When the Earth was formed, elements were not evenly distributed. Like a cake recipe before you turn on the mixer, many elements were highly concentrated in a small range of locations. In the case of minerals like gold, this was good because it made finding and mining them possible. In the case of arsenic, it led to tragedy. One of these concentrations of arsenic exists in Bangladesh. Groundwater flows through sediments rich in arsenic and the arsenic dissolves in the water. As you can see, this map shows regions of the country where the arsenic problems are severe. Based on preliminary testing, the red and purple sections have a high probability of excessive concentrations of arsenic. The well water is clear and arsenic is an odorless, colorless, and tasteless poison. So it is hard to convince the people of Bangladesh that the well water is more dangerous than the obviously polluted and bad tasting surface water. Contaminated wells are painted red to warn people of the dangers. Unfortunately, they often have no alternative. Arsenic in drinking water has caused countless diseases. The impacts are noticed most prominently on the skin, including gangrene, curtitis, and skin cancer. Redness and burning in the eyes resulting from conjunctivitis is also common. Clearly, something must be done very soon to remove arsenic from Bangladesh's water supply. But what? Chemistry is most likely to supply the answers. We might convert the arsenic to a non-toxic form. We might bind it to an absorbing material or we might use filtration to remove it from the water. The virtual lab is equipped with the chemical solutions, including different arsenic solutions and solids, the necessary glassware, and analytical instruments you will need to gather data and perform experiments related to stoichiometry calculations. So let's get started.